Hello guys, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have discussed all about how we can perform the operations like display the data, delete the data, active and deact. But one more thing we need to do, we need to update the record. Before updating the record, we need to set up the addProduct.php page. What empty fields value? I have assigned basically I'm gonna show you I go to add product.php page I have assigned required required attribute on each input text field but those are doesn't work I'm gonna show you I go to product and I'm gonna select category select the image click to save as you can see product has been saved in the database let's refer that as you can see the ID is a um, category name is a one LED uh, product name is empty zero 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 and this is an image and also something so we need to set up that so I'm gonna open my functions dot php dot uh, page and I just need to cut that no 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 I cut out complete code and use if statement and else statement in the else statement we need to paste the complete code in the if statement we need to check the each input text field value empty product name or empty um, MRP empty price empty Uh, QTY empty description if the okay one more thing we need to do we need to empty use empty copy and paste image we need to also validate the image anyone fields are empty then we need to display the error message copy that paste on there and please fill in the blanks right save that and uh, what is this is a uh, I'm gonna show you this thing on later so that I'm gonna select LEDs images something click to submit please fill in the blank right this is our first security now the second security is um, I have changed the number of these numbers and basically I uh, assigned the 50,000 but you need to increase them why I'm going to show you this is the 50,000 of the image size means 50 KB I'm going to show you I upload image I have image this one this image size is a 50 MB something 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 the fact that you can't see the record has been stored inside the database why because the image size is a greater than you will assign the also statements else statement uh, your your image size too large right so uh, let's refer that select LED one 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 select this one image your image size is too large but you need to increase the number fifty hundred thousand right means five five MB right this is my mistake right then the next thing we need to check the product exist or not so I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna use exit Q, you write the query select hysteric from products where product underscore name equal to product if the product data or product will use a match with our database then we will display the message error message con and exit variable 
I use if MySQL I fetch associate SQL and the else statement we need to paste the this code in the if statement we just need to copy that paste there and use product already exists right sir and refer that assign the product LEDs so I'm gonna copy that paste there one 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 image is this one product already exists so this is our security very basic security you need to use that now let's move on the manage uh, product.php I'm gonna click on edit we are able to see edit product PHP page we need to create this one page so I'm gonna copy that and create a file edit pro.php page inside this page you need to copy complete edit product.php page code and paste on there let's refer that let's uh, go back and click on edit as you can see this is a edit pro.php page the first thing we need to display the particular category inside the drop down menu right so wow. I go to function.php page uh, just a minute I check out I remove the this one tab you get perfect and mm, this is a function view products um, okay edit product function so we need to create a function public function I'm gonna use uh, just a minute function edit record I don't like that I like this way global con global con first of all we need to get the ID we need to get the ID which ID this one ID this is a get variable and this is the ID of the this variable this is like ID this is a value of this variable right so we need to get this one variable so just a minute I check that so I'm gonna use if it said well, let's go get ID if the get ID is active then I'm gonna edit ID and use save value function con and let's go get the ID variable name this is the ID variable right if you want to change the name on there then you need to use this one name on there right then we need to write the query the query is select static from products over p underscore id we need to select the first one column p underscore id equal to added id then we will get the particular record but we will call return keyword I'm gonna call return and call my my skill I query and call con and SQL this function will help us to getting the particular record so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna copy that uh, where is the problem okay I'm gonna call mm, result mm, what? 
return right so I'm gonna copy this one function and go to edit a pro.php page and I'm gonna call edit product and assign this fun function right then I'm gonna call a while loop and call mysql no I'm gonna call row mysql I fetch associate and uh, passing the edit variable right then we need to get the data from the database right so and this is the one thing okay okay I'm gonna call product ID sign the dollar score row PID product name row and uh, category name sorry uh, but this is a category name I'm gonna change that get ID I'm gonna change that to category ID right so this is our category ID inside the category ID have a get name category name sorry name then product name product name then uh, MRP and then our price price uh, quantity Uh, QTY then the image so I go to where add product.php page no I go to function.php page and I'm gonna copy this one code complete this one code and go to paste on there right uh, no image files image type okay I'm getting those record mm. okay I leave them I just getting record from the database and this is our image image and final is a description description right so let's refer that uh, description okay then we need to assign those variable inside this one form right so this is the edit product so I'm gonna change edit product and this is a save function but we will where is the function we will call that the update function all later I comment out and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna check that uh this is our okay i'm gonna copy that and paste on there and we need to change the type is hidden and product name not product id and value we need to call value assign double quotation and paste double quotation on there right inside there we need to call echo product ID right and I'm gonna copy that paste on there then product name I'm gonna copy that 
and based on there this is a MRP MRP I'm gonna copy that and paste on there this is our price right and I'm gonna pass that this is our quantity QTY and this is our image so I'm gonna send image right and this is our description so we need to use description on there description right so I think it should be work so we need to check that as you can see we received the data from the I did 12 I can't see the MRP 12 12 12 12 12 2 12 this is a image uh, why I can't see the MRP value this is the MRP this is the M why M we need to check that MRP is a large so I'm gonna use M right so let's refer that perfect but the thing is we need to display the particular category right I'm gonna show you I'm gonna click uh, manage product.php page this is LEDs this is a computer I'm gonna select edit then we need to display the um, second one category right so I go to this one statement this one and I need to use uh, just a minute I call if and we need to call this one uh, variable this is a product column category ID this one column ID right this one column match what you need to call the category column name those are match I'm going to show you this column value and also this column value this is a category table will match then display the particular record right so if those are match so we need to call we need to call select state, uh, selected selected and the otherwise this is if body this is if closing this is the else statement and the else statement I'm gonna copy the same thing but I need to just a minute I need to and copy that paste on there and just remove this one attribute so after that as you can see we have seen the particular category I'm gonna click on manage this is the LEDs I'm gonna click edit LEDs so I hope you are understood as well how you can get in the particular record from the edit page so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we had discussed all about how we can get in the particular record and how we can perform the operation like update the record but one thing we need to do we need to update the record after getting the particular record inside input text fields and also image we need to update the record so I'm gonna show you how you can do that I go to my code editor and you need to go on functions.php page and also manage uh, edit pro and where is the button name uh, pro btn and I'm gonna use edit this is the name of the button so we will create a function 
update record function update record global con if dollar underscore server request method equal to post and set dollar underscore post and when you user click on the btn what is name of the btn uh, i did pro this one and when you user click on this one button then run this function then come into the if body and the if body we will get the complete data so i go to add uh, product.php page where it is add product.php page no i go to function.php and i need to copy all the things on there i need to copy complete code i'm going to show you this is a code first we need to copy that and paste on there and we need to check the all things um, no I go to this one page so this is a Kate ID Kate ID right and now the next one is a product ID so we need to call product ID kill to save value con post and uh, this one input text field name right then product name and MIP price and we need to check the all input text fields name is MRP price quantity and, and this is the image and this is a description everything is the same then we need to go on our bow and we need to use same conditions like this one and please this one copy that and based on there we need to just uh, remove this when empty fields on there because we need to update the record anyone user will uh, able to upload the new image otherwise who will able to leave the uh, file image uh, future then who will able to update the complete record right then I just uh, remove this one also no I just remove this one and inside there just use query query is no I need to remove this one also no 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 just a minute just a minute just a minute I'm gonna show you everything I need this one and and remove this one all right and paste there I cut that and I'm going to use query update products set set uh, category underscore name equal to what uh, Kate ID variable comma product those are database column names this is a category name database column name this is a product name database column name uh, match with product name variable and then the next one will be I'm gonna check the right, this one product MRP Uh, MR MR MRP kill to MRP 
then I think price yes price equal to price comma uh, qty equal to qty and uh, image image equal to image uh, this is a mistake and the next thing is the description 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 equal to DEC right where 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 this one we need to copy this one uh, variable where PID this is the database column name equal to this one variable result mysql i query icon query if everything is a perfect then uh, I need to go on above because we need to update the image this one otherwise leave that and display the success message uh, this is an error message this is a error message uh, I need to where is the success message in this one we copy that and paste on there record has been updated right save and we need to copy this one function go to edit pro.php page and paste on there and also we need to go on below and check perfect let's uh, check out computers and then I'm gonna use um, speakers and 100 500 1000 and leave this one and we are selling speakers summit mm, why is that 350 350 what is functions.php uh, 350 this one is set this is a my mistake okay I think it should be I felt that and this is a speakers 100 500 1000 leave the image paste the code I mean text you can't store this one okay mm. an array we need to work on that basically what an array image correct extension okay I will work on if empty image paste the code and what we need to copy I'm gonna cut that image code is empty then then check the image size okay and the ILC statement I'm gonna pass that right if in any 
No, I just use uh If anyone is a well, uh, just a minute. I thinking a image correct extension allowing. Okay, I cut out also this one and paste on there. Cut out there. Paste on there. Image size and cut out. Paste on there right mm, we need to also use same thing on there because if user will click to file and first we need to check that if user will click on this one file and upload the image then who will able to update the image also will able to leave that so let's uh, check out it's working or not speakers 100, 500, 1000, leave the image, something, something. Submit, yes, record has been updated, right? So let's move on that, perfect. But I go to manage product. Okay, I can't see the image. Oh, what is the image name? Uh, this is a empty field okay uh, why mm. edit pro and values image I think we need to work on that because this is a very important mm. I can't see the image uh, on the first one column as you can see but let's uh, upload the image and click to update and go to manage products it's working right as you can see it's working but one more thing we need to do we need to anyone user click on edit and leave this one then we need to um, image is empty think we can't getting the image from the where from this one this one value image so let's uh, check out it's working or not so I use image echo and basically I'm going to use image uh, manage product.php I copy this one code right and go to edit pro no edit pro yes and on there I'm gonna paste there and I think I just use echo image so I think it should be display no 33 functions.php why is a mistake uh, 
Okay, I'll leave this one. Right, as you can see, we have getting the particular image, right? I'm gonna click on last one. Right, this is a perfect image, so I'm gonna ch change that to keyboard 100, 100, 900, and 3000, 1500. We are selling um uh, keyboards update the card has been updated right we can't see okay okay guys we will work on that on later this time i just uh, need to check out that then i will tell you so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can fix the image issue and how you can uh, create a table with a uh, contact us page and how we can display the data so the first thing I'm gonna click on edit and this is the image I'm gonna change LEDs submit and go to manage bro. everything is clear I have fixed issue on there I'm gonna show you if I'm gonna click on edit and I can't upload the image means we don't need to update the image I'm gonna show you in the core edit if this image is empty and then we need to use query without updating an image I'm gonna show you everything is well everything will be updated without image as you can see I have removed image uh, column name on there if user will up, uh, upload the image then who will able to see updated image inside this one statement have an image column this one as you can see just need to remove the image column on there and everything is like perfect so I hope you understood as well let's uh, move on the contact page so uh, I remove this one and this one also no I think we need to uh, no I will manage that on later I want to display the links okay so the first thing we need to create a file contact contact.php right inside this file we just uh, need to uh, where is the uh, manage uh, edit manage category I'm gonna copy this one code and paste on there and go to um, where is the name nav.php page and uh, where is the contact here is the contact page and uh, okay I'm gonna copy this one and paste on there and remove this one and just I uh, use contact I'll leave the other things also I don't need that right and contact dot php uh, just a minute contact contact.php page right contact so and let's uh, click on that click on that click on that uh, I can't see anything else okay okay this is the ally you will ally uh, ally ally Mm. Polyps. Okay. And refer that dashboard contact. This is our page, but I can't. I can't uh, redirect with this page. Um, okay. 
I will use same thing right and with this one and just contact right and this is a contact and we need to change that contact and after that contact 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 dot php um just a minute i need to use this way okay i go to above and and i'm gonna copy this one code right i think it should be work fine because contact us is a very important contact us contact dot php perfect right so i just i need to change the font of some icon f a f a f a f a mm, contact mm, i'm gonna use user i think it should be display yes yes so inside this page we display the what data so and get a table contact and one is a contact id second is a first name last name email and five column and first one is a contact id first name last name email yeah. and uh, text right I'm gonna use text no I'm gonna use Vaisha and 3000 Vaisha 255 characters Vaisha 255 characters Vaisha 255 characters and uh, auto increment okay yes okay this is a table we need to store the record is the first name is the online it tweets tutorials admin at the rate online it tweets.com um, we are learning what php and now the second one is a uh, programmer um, no i'm gonna use web developer web developer at gmail.com we are learning php we are learning we are creating a project in php so go go contact uh four times save record but i need to remove those uh yes two times right as you can see so we need to display those record on there so the first thing we need to go on functions.php page and now we need to use contact function contact global con kill select static from contact query mysql i query con sql return i just call return on there right so we need to copy this one function go to contact uh, page and paste on there right we don't need that and and also we need to uh, change the names uh, contact id first name last name 
and email and also text uh, what I need to do um, um, I just use information details is the best leave that and also leave this one right uh, I think leave this one this one also this one also and right I think it should be perfect yes use TR uh, PHP while row mysql i fetch associate pass the value variable is bracket close php write php and use td echo row contact ID copy paste 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 uh, uh, first name last name email last one will be what uh, I need to check the column text I just use text so if I the page perfect but why I can't see this one TR TR closing on there first perfect but we need to display the what link also the link will help us to delete the record right I'm gonna copy that go to contact us page and paste on there and Dell contact ID kill to contact ID I need to uh, yes refresh the page hmm. td paste that refresh page perfect I need to use color span uh, 4 so I refer that perfect so final step we need to delete the record right so i'm going to create a file del contact and i'm going to go to del um get.php page copy the code and paste on there and you just need to change the contact where contact id equal to tail id everything is a perfect then we will redact with uh, contact php page i think it should be work so i think that's uh del okay uh, what is the name of the file del con dot php okay contact I said that perfect everything is a perfect so this is our complete admin panel working process guys I hope you understood as well so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture